You're listening to Vatican Radio. I'm Linda Bordoni. October the 2nd is the Feast of the Holy Guardian Angels. It's also the day when we celebrate Grandparents' Day. La Festa dei Nonni, as it is called in Italy, was introduced in 2005 with a law that described the observance as a moment to celebrate the importance of the role played by grandparents within families and society in general. At Milan's Expo, the National Day is receiving much attention, as thanks to the Dutch pavilion, grandparents have been celebrated throughout the whole week. From September the 28th to October the 2nd, Expo's Dutch pavilion, with a series of events dedicated to flowers, the key symbol of the Netherlands, has also been host to activities related to Grandparents' Day, with music and workshops for children with plants. A project, Charles Lansdorp explains, that fits perfectly with the initiative, thanks to the bond that flowers and plants are able to create between different generations. I spoke to Charles Lansdorp, one of the initiators of Grandparents' Day and president of the Fellini Foundation, which aims to improve communication between generations. I am president of a foundation which is called the Fellini Foundation, that's a foundation which started in 2006 in Italy, thanks to a collaboration we had with a Dutch soccer player, Clarence Seedorf. And our foundation's aim is to improve uh, the communication between the generations. I'm one of the, let's say, initiators of Grandparents' Day. That is a project which started in 98 between Italy and, and Holland. And in 2005, that was for us very, very nice, it became a national day installed by the Italian Parliament. And the day is the 2nd of October, which is also the day of the Protecting Angels. And it's a beautiful thought because it's uh, that the grandparents are actually the protecting angels of their grandchildren. So for us personally, it was fantastic also because it, it gave us the opportunity also to, as, uh, with our foundation, to bring this um, special day other, to other countries. And um, through our foundation, we have also a special song, which is already in different, uh, different languages. And uh, we are now working in the Netherlands. Uh, we started this year also in Germany, uh, Slovenia, Spain, and uh, actually also Czechia is uh, a country which is very interested in this special day. The reason, I think, personally is also that we see in Europe that the need to bring the generations together is, is getting more and more important because of Europe is getting older. And we have more and more grandparents, and the younger generation needs to stay in contact with the older generation. And uh, we believe ourselves that the older generation has a lot of experience and a lot of things to tell. Also, you see that especially grandchildren love to be with their grandparents because they, they uh, love the stories, they love to, to share things. And uh, yeah, we think it's a fantastic uh, project to bring over to, uh, to other countries. Well, you certainly have a champion in Pope Francis here. He speaks repeatedly about the need and the importance of including the older generation and of never marginalizing the grandparents. Right. Has his words um, given a boost to your, your work? Sure. I think that actually uh, what I experienced personally also, what we did with the... Uh, I have to say I, I was quite also surprised at the effect we had when we... Uh, brought our children, uh, we went to uh, the Don Jockey Foundation in Italy, that's a foundation for elderly people, which is also in our uh, small town, which is called Malmate, which is uh, close to Varese. And the children, they went there and they, they, they gave the, the song, the music, and they talked with the elderly people. And then the, the person that is responsible for the animation, she said, Charles, it's really fantastic because there are also older people that are very lonely and they don't have anybody to take care of them. So it's, 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 it's a very nice thought to bring children and to share happiness and, and joy, because I think, well, that's maybe another, another subject, but of course, apart from the grandparents, I think there are a lot of older people that need also, uh, also attention and company. Of course, grandparents, not only do they deserve to be cherished and loved, and as you say, they have a message of experience, but they're also the ones that bore the hardships and made the sacrifices that, that produced a lot of the comfort and progress that we live today. I think sure. um, grandchildren should know that. I think that's another very, uh, very important aspect. I think Europe, to be honest, uh, our grandparents built up Europe after the war. 
So uh, thanks to their work, we are living in a very wealthy uh, situation. And I think that's something to, to tell and to, and to think about uh, the grandparents. And, and again, if you, every grandparent, grandfather, grandmother has a story to tell. Because if you listen and they share their experience, what they had in life, I think it, it, it's, it's fantastic to hear. So I, I actually encourage, encourage also the young people to, to take time and listen to, uh, to the stories. Charles, you're celebrating Grandparents Week um, at the Expo in Milan, where Holland has a beautiful pavilion. Yeah. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what's happening there and, of course, about the flowers there? Right. Actually, what a, a fantastic opportunity because Holland decided quite late to participate uh, on, the, on, the, on the World Expo. And I had the opportunity to, uh, to come in contact with the organizer. And uh, when I told them about the, uh, the Grandparents' Day, I said, well, this is a fantastic opportunity to present also uh, in the Expo. Because, of course, Holland, uh, we are known uh, for our flowers. But again, it, it gave the opportunity also to share uh, with the world how important uh, the grandparents are. And that they also, if you look at the subject of the expo, which is, of course, feeding the planet, well, I think a lot of elderly people, they still know how to, to, to grow uh, the tomatoes, they still know how to take care of the plants, and, and this information, they can pass it on to the younger generation. So again, it fits fantastically also in the, uh, in the whole objective of the World Expo. So what we're doing now, we are actually uh, changing the Dutch pavilion in a uh, flower pavilion. And we will receive on the 2nd of October elderly people and nonni and, and children. And we have workshops with flowers and plants. Uh, we bring, and that's very nice because uh, we have a, a special song dedicated to uh, the Grandparents' Day, which is in Italian, it's uh, To Sarai. And uh, we will uh, bring uh, a special version in the Dutch-Italian language, so especially for the, uh, for the expo. And another big, big surprise is, of course, that we will baptize a new rose, new rose variety, uh, which will get the name of, uh, of Clarence Seedorf. Personally, I, I, it, for us it's, as a foundation, it's fantastic to do this because our foundation started after uh, we get inspired by Clarence Seedorf to start doing something for, for other children. What an honor. Can I ask you what color the rose is? Well, yeah, sure. It's, it's, it's orange. It's a beautiful orange rose. Of course, orange is the color of the Dutch uh, football sure. <laughs> team. Yeah, um. yeah it's, it's quite interesting because if you look, I, I did some research and the color orange uh, means also happiness. It means uh, power, strength and, and joy. So I think the color uh, orange fits greatly also with, uh, with the idea of the Grandparents' Day because it's a, it's a color of, of autumn and the 2nd of October is, of course, in the autumn time. And it's a, f a color of, of happiness and strength. So I thought, well, it's <laughs> quite nice. It's interesting to, uh, to have this color also for, for a grandparents' day. Your pavilion is very close to the pavilion of the Holy See. I saw right. that. I saw that for myself. I understand yeah. you gave the Holy See something very special. It was actually an initiative of, I think it's the uh, Austrian pavilion, that uh, encouraged the other pavilions to give a special gift to, uh, to their neighbors. And I was talking with the responsible uh, director of the pavilion because he actually uh, was asking, we were just trying to, uh, what would uh, be nice to give to the Vatican? And I said, of course, <laughs> flowers, because we, uh, as, as Holland, it's already 30 years that we uh, decorate Piazza Vaticano for the Easter Mass. And being also a special Catholic holiday, the 2nd of October, we thought it would be nice to, to give a, a flower gift which expresses the uh, protecting angel. So uh, a Dutch designer, uh, actually she's the Dutch champion of flower design, Indini uh, Holtrop. She made a beautiful arrangement of Romelia flowers, which is a, a South American flower. And she made the, uh, the wings of the protecting angels made of uh, Romelia flowers. So the wings of the guardian angels, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's um, really beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, Charles, is, is there a flower of the nonni? No, I don't think so. I, I, well, in Italian they say, uh, don't forget me, don't score that uh, uh, but Forget I, me know, not, forget me not. Yeah, forget me not. And uh, what I always say, if you, if you give a flower, any flower to, or any plant to your grandparents, they will be joy of happiness because it's when do they get the flowers <laughs> you know it's crazy because if you think about it how much they do 
and how much they give. And and uh, and I know personally also my grandparents always say, well, I don't have to get anything for it. You know, it's of course typically for the grandparents. But if you give them a small, let's say, also a, a design or something made by the grandchildren together with flower out, I think there will be <laughs> the, the effect of the grandparents is, is incredible. That was Charles Lansdorp president of the Fellini Foundation and one of the initiators of Grandparents' Day.